Hello YouTube, today we're going to be going over gear for getting into ham radio. Uh, what I have here is the gear that I use to first get started in ham radio. It's the radio I made my first contacts with and then the subsequent upgrade that I made shortly thereafter. Um, this is a Beofong UV5RA. Um, it's just a little cheapy $30 radio. Um, it will do UHF and VHF and Depending on where you're at, it'll get you by itself onto most repeaters. Um, I can't get to any repeaters near me at my house with the little rubber duck because I'm a good probably 15 miles from any repeater. But when I'm in, say, a larger city and the repeater's within a mile or two, I can easily get on this and hear anybody on the repeater. That's why uh, I upgraded to this uh, Tram 1185 uh, dual band antenna. Uh, I put this on the top of my vehicle and I was able to then reach out 15 miles most days, 20 miles on a good day, although there was one point in time when I was able to receive almost 30 miles away. I'm guessing there were some atmospheric things going on at the time because I was not able to transmit back to the people I was hearing, but I was able to hear things going on on a repeater that was a good 30 miles away. Um, in order to use this antenna, you're going to need an adapter. Um, I'll have a link to this one in the description. Um, I got the 10 foot length, which was a bit much considering this antenna comes with a 12 foot cable on it. Uh, if you're looking to get a ham radio, I would say this is definitely a great way to start out because if you want, you can just start out with the radio, which is like 30 bucks. And then if you find you need a little more range or you want a little more range, you can go ahead and spend the extra, I think this was 14 I think this was between 5 and $10 on Amazon, depending on uh, what length you went with. And then you can reach out a good 15 miles, which depending on where you're at, that might be all you need to get into the nearest repeater. Um, the other thing I would recommend for the Beofong is a uh, programming cable. I don't have mine handy here. Um, it does make things a lot easier than uh, doing everything by hand. Um, you can do this by hand, but if you want to program anything like names into the channels, then you'll have to have the programming cable. Um, if there's interest in that, I can go over how I program this radio, but uh, unless there's interest, I won't worry about it. There's other videos out there on it. So if you're looking to get in ham radio, this is a good cheap option for hitting your first repeater once you've got your license. So if you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe.